the biggest Luna Classic and USTC burns are going to be happening in the next few days. Could those burns cause the Luna Classic price to start pumping? On top of the burns, Bitcoin is looking really bullish, guys. Bitcoin is trying to break out of the previous high from the 2021 bull run. If Bitcoin can break out, we get the positive election news in the next few days as well. This could cause Bitcoin to pump and which will add fuel to the fire to the Luna Classic pump. On top of all that, guys, there are some bullish news for Luna Classic. There's two protocols you already know about Jewish protocol. There's also another protocol, Selenium. If you guys remember what made Luna successful it was the anchor protocol and mirror protocol so Juris is forking a borrowing lending protocol and the selenium and guys I need to look a lot more into selenium but that is building a mirror protocol like synthetics and you can use USTC which will give USTC a use case so all this bullish news and guys I'll talk about the burns and do a technical analysis I'll also be covering uh, a question that I get in my lot of my videos, guys, which is what will happen to your Luna Classic with TFL LFG shutting down? Uh, what will happen with your Luna Classic on the station wallet? So I'll answer that question as well. If you enjoy the content, guys, do hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel out if you just put a thumbs up, Luna Classic, higher, whatever in the comment section below. I try to answer all these questions. In this video, guys, I try to summarize everything that's gone on in the Luna Classic ecosystem in the next week in a quick 10, 15 minute video for you guys. If you want to find out more about what's happening do tune into the weekly spaces that i do where i go into a lot more detail bring on guests from around the community and we talk about everything that's going on so if you enjoy the content guys do hit that like button and subscribe and let's get straight into it so the big news is guys binance burning every month and i think that is people have such a sort of sleeping on this news guys binance don't burn in any other coins apart from bnb and luna classic which is so bullish i know in 100k you could argue that 1 billion is not a lot considering how much supply luna classic has but this is still a massive help in my opinion so every month they're burning guys but what, the comment I want to make is burning is great, but we haven't seen the price of Luna Classic go up. So what we need on top of the burns is use cases. Jewish Protocol will be bringing some of the use cases we've got the selenium project there's also uh, the ustc repack plan that will be coming out on 7th of november the white paper will be launched again i'll cover all of that on this video so make sure you've subscribed and turn on the notification button it really helps the channel out i'll cover all of that guys on so if you guys can see in a bull market we have lots of positive news bitcoin pumps there's you know hype or narrative we could potentially have everything for luna classic which we've not had for a while so again i'm really excited guys i really hope that there's no war or some crazy drama that causes the stock market and bitcoin to dump because it's looking exciting for luna classic and for crypto in general so that's one of the burns guys the binance burn happens every month i'll be tweeting that so first of november and the big burn the more exciting news is the shuttle bridge burn so all assets that are left on these wallets will be burned guys so this has been confirmed and there will be more burns if you watch my previous videos i went into a lot of detail on the other burns that will be happening but they aren't confirmed so i i haven't got you know tfl like here where they've clearly said and um, after the bridge closes any user assets still in the contracts will be burned and the bridge will be permanently shut down so these burns we know for 100 percent is happening has been confirmed with the court, court proceed, proceedings terra money the official twitter account has confirmed it so these burns are happening which is really really good to see so you'll be will be burning around 250 billion lunc so you know 250 times the burn that we see for binance do and also a uh, hundred and 73 million USTC and you can see the dollar or the pound value for these so this is huge guys again just to repeat what I said earlier burns on itself doesn't uh, push the price up we need to see use cases and demand if you guys look at the cat with hat you know cat with hat has gone absolutely parabolic and the main reason for that cat with hat going parabolic is cat with hat guys is actually doing a buyback and burn so terra casino again i've partnered up with them i've left the links below if you're betting on normal uh, betting companies and you know gambling or losing money why not use terra casino and burn some luna classic they are one of the top burners of luna classic so they're supporting cat with hat burn and they're actually buying and burning so it causes demand and the price goes up so these are dormant assets so that's not going to technically push the price up but if we 
link it with um, some use cases, if we link it with, you know, demand through USTC and on, on, on top of all the hype that it generates in the long term, it is still bullish, but we need to create demand. That is the key, guys. You know, people wanting to buy a coin and hold and, you know, be aggressive buying. That's what causes the pump. So that's what we need to see on top of these burns. So again, there's a great news, guys. I, I do think we need Bitcoin to break out and we need this narrative. So the USTC repeg narrative that's coming out next week or so and um, the the protocols like jewish protocol uh selenium and then you know other gaming projects nft the terra casino all those could add to the demand of wanting to buy luna classic so next news guys i want to talk about is the a question that i get and guys if you have any other questions do comment below on this weekly video i try to update you guys if it's going to be a longer one if it's a technical one i can bring someone on like frag strat and then you know go into more details uh, if it's a technical question that you're after but comment below i read and reply to every comment so guys uh, the, the question here is uh, what will happen to coins that are in your uh, luna classic or ustc in your station wallet first of all guys your coins are not in a wallet it's stored on the blockchain not your wallet think of your wallet is as a window to view your coins it is a way to connect to blockchain based applications you're not your coins are not held on the wallet so you won't lose your coins so that's you know to calm you down but i do believe that station uh, uh, will continue to work but it won't be upgraded so even you could keep using a station wallet some features would be missing so you know you could have issues in the future so what i would recommend or suggest is again do your own research use kepler wallet or galaxy station wallet so that's from our own luna classic team hexagon or kepler wallet is a cosmos wallet you can have personally use Ke uh, kepler more uh, for not just um luna classic but kuji and other cosmos coins but i've tried hexagon as well it's a very good wallet and it's good to see you know luna classic own uh, wallets or, or, or people building uh, from luna classic finally guys i do want to get you guys to read it i probably won't read all this but it's really important to be careful with your seed phrase don't give it out um i would recommend you know import it and use kepler and hexagon is completely safe again do your own research as well but it's really important to generate using a secure and offline method, store a physical copy, create multiple uh, 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 multiple backups in different secure locations, use advanced security like multi-sig hardware wallets, and never share seed phrase with anyone, guys. You know, your coins can be stolen. Like, please do not share it. Not even a legitimate company, not even Coinbase, CZ, Binance. Please keep it safe. So yeah, do uh, read that thread. I posted this on my Twitter. Next, guys, another question I get is the airdrops. So Q1 snaps shot has been taken already your lock tokens are vesting you'll be able to claim them soon uh, ll6 and the founder he's also announced some liquid tokens that will be uh, airdrop so when frag is back you'll be able to get those uh, airdrop tokens i do recommend guys keep staking with jurist because there will be future airdrops look at the market cap for jurist now guys in the future guys if jurist price goes up these tokens could be worth a decent amount especially considering uh, where where around the world you live so i do recommend go uh, stake some Luna Classic if you're already staking with someone. Why not stake with some Juris Validator? Your the staking rewards are used to burn a uh, ju uh, Juris as well, so it helps our bags on top of you getting some rewards as well. So and and the airdrops, not only the Link rewards, or the airdrops as well. So I do recommend if you haven't staked with us, you know, for all the work that we do, spaces that we do, do stake some with Juris Validator. Our delegations are increasing, so I appreciate your support. But if you really want to support us more, you want the airdrop tokens, do check us out guys and i'll made a tweet before and i've got a youtube video going talking talking you talking to you about step by step and if you're bullish luna classic you want to be staking some tokens for the bull run this might not be a bad time to buy some luna classic and stake uh, with us there's a youtube video if you type in uh, how to stake luna classic step by step i did make a video on the channel the next topic i want to talk about is selenium guys so what made luna successful was uh, anchor protocol the ustc 20 percent which was degen which we're not going to have so you know juris is going to be more safer than that but was anchor protocol and mirror protocol so jewish protocol is building the lending borrowing protocol the anchor protocol was and selenium will be building mirror protocol which was the synthetics asset so you'll be able to you know give collateral and this is where i'm going to be really bullish guys you can provide ustc as a collateral to mint assets like gold and they're only starting with gold but there will be other assets as well and this is so bullish guys so each type of asset will be listed 
have a different multiplier so the collateral for uh, USTC is 1.133 which is roughly 150% if you're uh, uh, depositing USDC the multiplier is less but this is so bullish guys I mentioned earlier burns are great and we want to keep burning you know that's one of the I guess the not narratives but you know burning is linked to Luna Classic that 1.2% burn you know we were the number one crypto I guess you know the hype crypto in all of crypto Twitter and on the world really Binance started supporting us so we're always linked to burning but for the price to go up we need to add use cases the USTC repeg initiatives Jewish protocol um, NFT projects and meme coins well I'll come on to meme coins at the end all those are gonna help what I would uh, touch on guys is if you want to um, get some um, if you want to get some airdrops for Selenium, they have got the launchpad open on Terraport, a new synthetics platform. You can do your own research. Within 50 days, it's going to be launched and you can connect your wallet and potentially be claiming some, um, some points which would be included into airdrops and that is really smart to do guys so again i've gonna i'm gonna create some wallets guys put hundred dollars two hundred dollars and and claim some airdrops you only need ten thousand terra which i'm gonna do a technical analysis on terra price is pumping so that's all the news guys again if i've missed anything if you want me to show your project do let me know on twitter or on youtube or comment section below i'll cover it in my next weekly video so guys let's do jewish first my own project i need to show my own project so we're an absolutely parabolic one thing to differentiate and i keep talking about this is when we pumped here we just went up only like literally a 10x in a few days and that's not sustainable we saw a big dump now guys it's been sustained lower highs and if you do any technical analysis trading this does look very nice and i like to see this so I'm happy to see this, you know, trending move, guys. Uh, we hit 10 million and we've hit into some resistance and we've trend changed at the moment. My prediction was, guys, we chop around here, uh, but it looks like we're going to get a deeper pullback. So I've drawn a couple of levels, guys. So not 0.5%, I think is probably a good level for you to look to bid some. Or the 618 is another good level to bid some. So if you already own Juris, you want to buy some Juris, guys, these are some good levels to buy some. Again, again not financial advice, but I'll probably look to get some as well. I think those are some good levels and in the long term guys I was hoping a shorter pullback with Bitcoin and Luna Classic bullish but maybe we get a wider pullback and then slowly we break out so you could look to buy the dip look to buy the breakout depending on how much you own and what your risk appetite is but I think it's a good punt to be getting some juries in terms of cat with hat guys cat with hat is such a low market cap and i mentioned buy back and burns cat with hat is actually bought back and burns not just dormant assets so i'd expect cat with hat to carry on going up we've seen cat with hat go absolutely parabolic guys went to 100 mil market cap 100 mil market cap that would be i mean i'd, I'd be effing rich if that happens but again if we can get to a million that would be amazing but yeah we we went to 100k again we're chopping we can see these lower highs and pumping i'd expect cat with hat to just put in these lower highs and push up so excited about cat with hat guys i'll chat with the founder as well see if he's got some bullish news i don't really support many meme coins again people reach out to me if you want to reach out to me to show your projects give me reasons you know i i, I won't just take tokens if you pay me just say rocco Chris some content for this amount of usd fine that's marketing or whatever but if you want me to take tokens and then like just dump the tokens i'm not going to do that guys i want to see you know actual use cases or some hype some smart new initiative that i think is going to add volume going to burn luna classic going to bring solana meme hype to luna classic then yes i'm happy to partner up with you guys you know take some tokens if it's a lower market cap buy some myself and shill it with you but we're happy to partner up. So if you have a good meme coin idea, you're building something, a gaming project, NFT or whatever, let me know. I'm happy to partner and potentially work with you guys. But Cat with Hat, you know, Terra Casino has partnered up with them. I love these burns. We've already done a 10x and um, I'm expecting for this trend to carry on going. And let's see again. One mil would be amazing. I'll be like, that would be like a Christmas present. But even 250, 500k is not a bad, with the low liquidity, this can push a lot. Finally, guys, I want to talk about Terraport, guys. So, Terraport is, you need to have Terraport to get, uh, to claim these tokens. And I think this is the main reason why Terraport has done a almost a 2x. I think this could be trend changing, guys. We saw previously, like, we had a big rally. I think now, with how low the market cap is and everything that, Terraport or building if you don't own any guys I mean you might just want to buy 10,000 worth to claim selenium and if you compare the market cap with Juris, selenium could do really well um I think maybe just 
buy some terror as well why not and i'm bullish all luna classic coins guys i want luna classic to do well i'm working on this chain so terraport is looking really good you can claim some buy some terraport and start claiming some airdrop for selenium as well and airdrop farming points farming whatever you want to call it and from a charting point of view really nice rally i would love to see a lower high here form whether it's here you could look to bid some now uh, definitely look to bid this level or a trend change similar to juris i would look to buy this as well and if it does you know what two three x on top of you're getting some airdrops you're making money on terraport and also making money on uh, getting some free selenium tokens as well and if we can get this hype on luna classic going and on top of the blue chip like juris on the meme coin side as well that's also bullish for terra and luna classic so Guys, those are some of the coins I wanted to cover as well. And again, uh, full disclaimer, I own some Terra. I own Cat with that. I, I, I mean, I'm, part, I'm one of the co-founders of Jurius. So again, these are my projects. I want to be supporting it. But you've already seen what's happened with Jurius. And I'm glad, you know, I took a bit of risk, you know, uh, um, working with LL69. But you can see with the chart and, and the work that LL69 Frag are doing and what we've achieved already. And uh, there's a lot more to come with what we want to do. There's lots of bullish news to share with you guys and we've not even lo launched the testnet and we've hit 100 million imagine what we can do with testnet launched and when we start building tvl that's when the real work and real fun start guys so that's the video guys hope you guys enjoyed it i can't let uh, let you guys go before without doing a luna classic technical analysis luna classic guys it hasn't really changed and i know i've been making these weekly videos and i've been saying the same thing apart from here when i was ex expecting potential breakout but bitcoin um bitcoin faked out again i'm expecting chop but if bitcoin breaks out and some of the bullish news uscc repeg i mentioned that's when we can get a breakout and i think we'll see a big price move up about 80 90 percent pump so above here look to buy if you're short time frame trading you could look to buy this level long term if bitcoin doesn't pump we have a crazy scenario like war related stuff and bitcoin dumps to below 60k i think you might get another opportunity guys this just buy out i talked about it go watch my videos from august or my twitter post especially i would was bidding here if we come into here guys just blindly buy some luna classic not financial advice or maybe some advice but yeah i'd be looking to buy here but break out above here scalp trade potential support trade here and i'm not even going to go into short time frame because i want to focus on longer term with some of the things i've mentioned guys i'm really bullish luna classic and fingers crossed we can actually get a massive bull run for luna classic that will be really really exciting so that's luna classic guys i've touched on bitcoin already uh, a bit uh, luna classic above that 0 0.0001 level bitcoin is already breaking out um uh, bitcoin above here that's when we're gonna get the fireworks big moves and i'm surprised on twitter and on social media not many people being more excited about this breakout because this does look very good to me indeed so that's the video guys hope you guys enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it hit that like button and subscribe and i'll catch you guys next week if you want to find out more content in a detail told analysis guests go check out my spaces that i done with l69 vegas rexy and other luna classic community members i'll link that video at the end it's a two-hour podcast you can listen to it whilst you're in the gym driving or doing or working from home thank you very much i'll catch you guys next week goodbye